Ready, aim, fire. Today on Made for the Outdoors, raw carbon and steel go from blah to bang. We're making a versatile firearm that's sure to hit the target. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Border View Lodge. With a booming population of 419, you'd never guess that Pillager, Minnesota is home to one of the most popular gun manufacturers in the world. Here at Magnum Research, they make a number of unique firearms, from the Desert Eagle to the BFR Revolver, but today it's all about their switch bolt rifle. Let's go see how it's made for the outdoors. Well, we started back in the early 1980s with a couple guys had a dream about uh, a large caliber semi-automatic pistol, and that was the start of the Desert Eagle. Since then, we've expanded our product lines uh, to revolvers, to rim fires, uh, mid-size semi-auto compacts, and center, custom center fire rifles. Magnum Research is best known for being the exclusive producer of the Desert Eagle, one of the world's most well-known guns. But a number of other unique firearms are manufactured here, including the BFR revolver and the 22 switch bolt rifle. Uh, it is a Ruger 1022 style rifle with a twist. We've we've added our own upgrades over the years, tighten tolerances here and there. The switch bolt rifle we made so that you could actually take the bolt handle from the right hand side and switch it over to the left hand side. Uh, one, it helps, it helps with um, good extraction. It stays out of the way for ejected brass. Uh, two, if somebody is left-handed, then it makes it easier to cycle the bolt for them. So it gives the right-handed people and the left-handed people the chance to operate the firearm smoothly. We have people that are shooting these in target matches, speed matches. We actually own the world record now with the switch bolt rifle for the rimfire challenge. And squirrel hunting or small game hunting. So it's, it's a very versatile rifle. The first step of designing any gun, engineering. So tell me what kind of goes on in this platform here. So this is the first step in most of our projects. Um, we'll model up uh, different pieces and parts within uh, the final assembly within SolidWorks and then make prints and drawings. I mean, how many different combinations could you make of this gun? Quite a few. Um, just in stocks alone, uh, we've got a big number of different styles and colors and things. Yeah, Trigger Group, I think we offer different color anodize and stuff like that. Very cool, so you can make it your own. Yeah. So after you're done here, this would go off to Pequot Tool in manufacturing, right? Yep, whatever specific uh, piece or part within the assembly that we need made, whether it's Pequot Tool or any other manufacturer, it would basically go from being on the computer uh, sent up to them and be made into something tangible. Very cool, yeah, you send it off and it comes back yep. 3D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leaves in 2D, comes back in 3D. Yeah. With Nolan's designs in hand, we head to Pequot Tool and Manufacturing to machine our parts. I'm here at Pequot Tool and Manufacturing where we're gonna machine a couple parts for our rifle. I'm gonna head inside the shop where my friend Chris is gonna show me how it's done. The first component to be machined is the part that makes this firearm unique. Chris, so these are a couple very important parts. This is one of the first steps in the process of making this gun. Tell me what I'm holding right here. Uh, that will, this will eventually become this, which is the bolt for okay. the uh, rifle, which in this case, that's the part that makes this gun more, more unique than anything else out there. So what is the process of turning this into this? First, we're going to load it 
on the, this fixture here. Okay. And we'll come in and do some intermediate machining, give it most of this shape. We'll come along, put these grooves in the top, put this long slot that holds the firing pin in the bottom, a few other machining things. It'll come off, it'll get loaded onto this fixture over here. You can see it partially loaded. They'll do more machining over here along this side. They'll cut the uh, slot for the ejector. And then finally, we'll put it on the third fixture on the end, and they'll put in the holes in the threads for the, uh, the left-handed or ambidextrous handle, which is what this makes, makes this bolt unique. Machining just eight parts takes nearly three hours. Luckily, all we have to do is load the raw materials. All right, so should we load them up? Sure. Okay. Woo! Godspeed, see you on the other side. The other component that is machined here is the receiver, and it's machined in pretty much the same way, loaded on, then it has two stages of machining versus three with the bolts. But Chris, you said this is actually a different material, right? Right, this is T6 aluminum, whereas the bolts are made out of 4140 steel. Okay, and which one is more dense? Uh, the steel is a lot more dense, a lot heavier. Okay. So they actually, you'll see the finished receiver and the finished bolt weigh almost the same thing. So interesting, and as I'm holding this, I mean, this is losing a lot of mass, a lot of material, because this is heavy and this is right. pretty light. It's, this starts off a little over two, two pounds and finishes up at around seven ounces. All right, why don't we load it up? Once again, all we have to do is load the machine and watch it work. All right, Chris, well, thank you so much for your help making the receiver and the bolts. We're going to head back to Magnum Research and assemble this gun. When Made for the Outdoors gets back, we get hands-on at Magnum Research. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Aquarius Home Services, Car Arms, and by Keystone Light. Keystone Light, always smooth. Celebrate responsibly. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. Magnum Research offers some of the finest guns available, and they take pride in producing many of the parts right here in Pillager, Minnesota. We've got just a layout of our current uh, rifle barrels. Uh, some are for our 22 long rifle rim fires, and then we also have a couple uh, center fire rifle barrels here. Down here you can see we'll start off with uh, the uh, straight carbon wrapped 22 long rifle barrel. This one is non-threaded. Uh, we also have a threaded version. Uh, you take the thread protector off and you can throw on either a compensator or a uh, suppressor. We have uh, both a clear model that'll give you an idea of what's on the inside and then our actual production one here on the end. The barrel we're making isn't clear, but you'll see what's inside because we're making it from scratch. On top of that, we have our own carbon fiber barrels that we make in-house. That is kind of our claim to fame that they're amazingly light and amazingly accurate. All right, Vicki, so I hear that this is the first step of assembly, and we're gonna wrap the barrel with this. What is this? This is carbon. Okay. And we wrap it around a steel liner to make the barrel. Okay, and so what happens after we wrap it up? Then we'll be putting it in a bag to be cooked in the oven. All right, you're kind of like a little baker down there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're the Magnum Research Baker. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> awesome, okay, well show us how it's done. And then we're ready to wrap it. Looks like you're at a 7-Eleven hot dog.
So this is what our barrel is gonna end up looking like, but it doesn't start as a solid. It actually starts as these sheets of carbon, and this process that Vicky's doing behind us is gonna turn it into this solid piece. So it's fascinating when you take uh, this carbon out of the freezer, it almost immediately gets tacky, and it's almost like it kinda melts in your hand. So it's obviously just extremely temperature sensitive. When pressure is applied, that sensitivity allows the carbon to become a solid piece. And then we have a barrel. It's done. The next step is called bagging. But trust me when I say it's not as simple as bagging groceries. Vicky controls an air compressor with a pedal to fill the bag with air, then forces the barrel inside. And I do 100 of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. At a time. Wow. Or let go of the rod and that barrel will go flying. Do you want to try one? All right, so I'm feeding this sucker in. Then do I have to connect it? Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, yep. Boom. And so and it'll just stop when I stop pressing on that. Right. Okay. And then you put the long end. <laughs> put, the, well, you get it all put the long end in first. All right. But it's gotta go all the way in before I And then you Yep. Pretty strong, guys. And then you step on and then do it. What's the best angle here? Is this fine? You guys ready? Is it in? Yep. Is it all the way in there? You good? Yes. Oh no. Was I supposed to pull it out? Yeah, it'll come. Um, you can give oh. it a little bit more air and then take it out. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm done for today. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, so now yep. just disconnect this? Yep. Woohoo! All right, we all made it out alive. A lot of respect for what you do in here, Vicki. It's fun. Fun is one word for it. After our barrel is wrapped and bagged, it heads into the oven. An hour later, our cooked barrel is capped off with the muzzle and a breech cap. The barrel is taking shape, but Vicky's job isn't done just yet. After being capped, the barrel is faced and chambered, a meticulous job that requires a steady hand. And once we're through to that particular portion of the process, then it leaves here, goes up to Pequot Tool for dovetail and extractor cuts. With the dovetail and extractor cuts complete, our carbon barrel has reached the finish line. More high caliber action when we get back on Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Spire Credit Union. Moen's Mouse Mix. Polaris Industries. Warner's Dock. Game Fair. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. Today we're at Magnum Research creating one of their signature 22 bolt action rifles. There's a lot of custom customizable features on a 1022. There's so many different manufacturers for trigger groups, for stocks, for barrels, for the optics or the the magazine. So everything can be changed. We have a, web, a custom website um, on magnumresearchcustoms.com. You can go on there and you can choose our MLR, our switch bolt rifle option, and you can customize all those options. You can change the stock, uh, the barrels, the triggers. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to start with nothing and build exactly what you want. We like to say, you know, we, we build a lot of custom guns in a production setting. Uh, we really take care of quality and accuracy. Those are what our entire business has been built on. Just how accurate? One of our sponsored shooters has the world record. Chris Barrett, unbelievable young shooter. Pretty amazing to watch. Well, he's the first first person to break the the 60 second mark uh, in the rimfire challenges 
And then, the, actually, the record was broken again by someone else also shooting our switch bolt rifle. And then a third person broke it using a competitor's rifle. And then Chris blew it away by about four seconds with our switch bolt again. So he's the current holder, world record holder. Looks pretty accurate to me. Time to get back to work. With the barrel finished, it's time to assemble the rifle. We run them through our inspection process, and then they're cut into, put into work orders, and then they're rolled out onto the floor for the guys to assemble. Um, that goes from the sub-assemblies, like the triggers, and then the bolts, and then it comes all together for the final assembly. Assembly pro Wyatt Schwichtenberg makes it look easy. Basically, you take a receiver, a guide rod, and a spring. Bolt handle on there, grab a barrel. It's called the switch bolt, so you can put the bolt handle on either, side, either side. You put it on? I put it on the left. Okay. Just because a lot of people it's like that, because you can yeah. keep it up and charge it without taking the gun down. So once you do that, trigger group, bolt stop pin, and two receiver cross pins. That's pretty much it for that. That's it. And just like that, our switch bolt rifle is assembled. But our job here isn't done yet. Joby and I hit the range when Made for the Outdoors returns. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Canvas Works, Warner's Dock, L&M Fleet Supply, Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. What started as raw carbon, steel, and aluminum has turned into a highly accurate and versatile firearm. And there's nothing better than testing your own creation. Let's hit the range. Well, Jovi, it's always so fun and rewarding to see something like this come together, start to finish. Now we gotta fire this thing, but first, how about a little refresher on gun safety? Sure, uh, we're always gonna keep our muzzle pointed in a safe direction. We're gonna have the safety on until we're ready to fire, and we're gonna always keep our trigger finger off the trigger until we're ready to fire. So the switch You're bolt, just just refers to the bolt handle. So we're able to just to take this handle off and slip it over here or vice versa. Okay. This is a semi-automatic gotcha. Uh, gotcha. rifle. And so every shot, when you pull the trigger, it automatically cycles the, gotcha. the explosion of the cartridge, cycles the bolt back and forth and automatically reloads. Gotcha. And so every time you pull the trigger, it's ready to go. So we're clear down range. The range is going hot. And then we'll just make sure the bullets are in the right direction. Slide it up and in. And then to load the chamber, we just pull back and let go. Super. And now it's ready to go. It's on safe. Okay. So you are ready to go. Sweet. Recoil, it's just like, woo, easy. Time for the boss to show us how it's done. So yeah, you nailed, nailed that one and that one. There we go, got a couple. And then I put, put, I put 10 rounds into that. Nice, pretty accurate. Went pretty well, for me anyways. <laughs> <laughs>
Since we're here, we might as well try out another barrel. This time, one that doesn't require earplugs. This is our TTS barrel. It's integrally suppressed. Integrally, it's a tough word. <laughs> integrally suppressed. And so it's not gonna be loud at all. Yep. Not too bad. I mean, with that gun, it's pretty easy. Great. Feels easy. Great shooting. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So lightweight and so accurate. Magnum Research's reputation for making world-class firearms starts with the people who work here. It's a laid-back, fun place to work. That's my goal here, is to make a place that people want to show up and have a good time while getting work done. Getting work done and creating some of the most unique firearms in the world.